It is time to talk Dollar Tree. I've got some good stuff to show you, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna start with Christmas and then we'll move on down to just normal stuff. I got this little paper box. It's very small. Let's see if it says on here what the size is. No, but it's not big at all. I really love how they are bringing out a lot of neutral decor for different holidays, like they did it for fall. And now this one for Christmas is just so neutral and high-end looking. That gold that you see there, that's glittery, but the glitter doesn't really have much fallout. And I love that the background is gray, very simple and just sort of sleek looking. I think this would be really pretty. I like how the sides are very simple as well. And that's like a tan dot on the trees. It's not red or orange. It's just so pretty. Anyway, I just really like this. I think this would be a nice um, thing to put a gift in, you know, some cookies or something like that. It's not like it's food safe or it's going to seal, but this would also be something really nice if you have small children and want to have decor that's not breakable. That'd be really pretty on your coffee table. And then the other Christmas thing I got, sorry, that's really crinkly. I got these cedar picks. I got gold and then I got them in the red as well. And they do have a little bit of glitter fallout, but I think they'll be really easy to just spray some hairspray on them and keep the glitter from coming off. There's five in a package, which is great. And I like that they're in this paper so they're not broken off. You know, the floral section, often these kind of branches just get really mangled, but these are in really great condition. I actually, my store that I was shopping in, they still had all the boxes on the floor and I just took one out of the box that hadn't even hung up yet. So um, I'm gonna use these on the top of my tree to kind of like poke out and be a topper. I believe these will also be Christmas gifts as well. I could not believe when I saw this. This is a little toy vacuum cleaner and I'll turn it on for you in just a second. It has a little battery in the bottom. Um, it's a one of those like watch battery kind of things. It does, does not take a regular double or triple A battery, but my little nephews are almost four and they love pretend things and this makes noise. I think they will absolutely love it. They had two. One of them didn't work, so just test them before you buy them. I'm gonna look for another ones that can each have their own, but here is what it sounds like. Ready? So you see it has a flashing light. And now it's done. <laughs> the other Christmas thing I got was one of these Disney books. This is Disney Mickey and Friends, The Three Musketeers from the Benden Company. And I showed one of these on Instagram the other day. Um, I read the Aristocats that I picked up. They had these, and I said on there that they had these last year, but they were, the pages were glossy. And this year the pages are like craft paper almost, but they have a lot of words in them. They're not baby books. They're good books for children that have a little bit longer of an attention span, which I really, really like. Now let's talk about some stocking stuffers. Dollar Tree has great stocking stuffers. They get better and better every year. One thing that I got for one, I really like the shape of this, that it would fit down nicely in a stocking. This is like a paper box and it is April Bath and Shower brand shower fizzers. It says therapeutic, exotic, uplifting. Wow, that's a lot for a dollar, right? <laughs> There's three of them in a package and this looks like it's coconut scent. So it just says on here, that you wet tablet under the running shower water, place on the shower floor in the corner away from direct spray of the water. As the fizzer is sprinkled with water, the fragrance releases into the steam, which is really cool. I think that Lush makes something like this, so I'm really interested to see how these work. They had another, I think the other one they had were like lavender or something, but I went for the coconut. I think that would be a really nice stocking stuffer because they fit nicely in a stocking as well. Then I found this Lip Smacker Coca-Cola flavored. So it has three of the little chapsticks in here. Lip Smacker brand has Coke Cherry, um, Vanilla Coke, and Regular Coke. I think that's what that is. Let me look. Oh, it says it right here on the back. <laughs> Cherry, Vanilla, and Classic, yes. So that's really fun. If you have someone that likes Coke products, this would be really cute. I've seen Dr. Pepper before, but not the Coke, so I thought that was cool. Then um, I always like to do socks as stocking stuffers because they're fun. If you have someone in your family that's really into cool socks, these are no-show socks. These are men's, and these are officially licensed DC 
um, Marvel Comics, which is cool. Is that not Marvel? That's a different thing, right? DC Comics. Sorry to all of you comic nerds. I apologize. My husband would be correcting me. This is Superman. They had Wonder Woman and Batman. These are not very soft. They feel kind of, I don't know. They don't feel luxurious, but they're no-shows, and I thought they were cool that they were Superman. So I got those. Then I grabbed a couple pair of these Snuggadoo socks. <laughs> they're very, very soft. I like the blue and white kind of check pattern on here. They had some that had the little grippies on the bottom. These do not, but they had some that had those. Um, and they also had a different texture as well that was more of like a knitted sock. But anyway, I like these a lot. They had uh, lots of like mint colors and that sort of thing. Lots to choose from, which is really nice. I have these. They don't last usually more than a year. They're not as high quality as like um, Bath and Body Works socks, but they're nice just to put in someone's stocking or to give as a small gift. And I think it's nice to give them along with like a good foot lotion or something like this. This is from the Bolero Company, Peppermint and Eucalyptus Foot Scrub, three ounces. I think the packaging's really pretty. It looks a little more high-end and not so Dollar Tree, right? This is sealed underneath this lid here. There's a little foil cap, which is nice, um, but I can't tell what the consistency is. It seems like it, it's not sloshing around in here, but it seems like it might be a little on the runny side and not so like super gritty, but it was a dollar. And it's a nice small size, just three ounces. The other thing I got, this is not a stocking stuffer. I'm gonna use this in my own bathroom. This is the Bolero Company again. Beverly Hills Jasmine and Orange Blossom Creamy Hand Wash. So it's not antibacterial, but it's just a nice hand soap. And I like that it's this really pretty um, tall cylinder, different than what they have put out in years past, 10 ounces. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what it smells like. The color in the packaging, at least the bottle maybe, is a little of a peachy color, so it's not like a stark white. It's really pretty. I like these, they're just fun to have. Um, I don't usually have Bath and Body Works hand soap, so I like to have those and kind of feel a little fancy. <laughs> the last thing that I picked up were these two little pieces of home decor here. These are ceramic. They're, you know, can you hear that? They're breakable. I have seen these in stores for a very long time, like at least a year, if not more. And there's usually like two on the shelf and they're both chipped. <laughs> so I was tickled to find a blue and a white that were in great condition. So it just has these pretty little indents all along. They also had it in black and I think maybe yellow. Anyway, I love these. I think these are so pretty to use um, on a bookshelf or in any kind of like vignette on your coffee table. Really, really nice. So I was really happy to get those. Um, I thought about grabbing a bunch, but then I didn't want to do overkill. So I just got the two and I'll be happy to use those. I like to have some neutral decor that I can pull out after Christmas is over that will make me feel okay about putting away all my Christmas decor because I have new things to put out. So um, I really noticed they've got a lot of the Bolero products, a lot more than they've had since um really late winter so that's very exciting to be able to find things like that they had the um, body sprays and the face wipes and um, i don't care for their shampoos and that sort of thing or their body washes from the bolero brand but if you do they have lots of those i don't feel like they're very effective but they have a new men's line but i just think the hand wash is just fine and then i think the foot scrub will be good as well um, just for a small gift. So I am very excited to have all these things. If you've tried the shower fizzers, let me know in the comments how those are. And I will be on the lookout for another little vacuum because I have twin nephews where I like for them each to have something so they don't have to share. Anyway, I'm excited to decorate my tree with my cedar picks. So many good things from Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely evening and I will talk to you in the next video.